So first off, um, if she would have retired under the Obama administration, she well, the Obama still would have had to deal with the Republican majority Senate, which means that Obama wouldn't have been able to push essentially a Ruth Bader Ginsburg Jr. onto the Supreme Court. And after Harry Reid stupidly invoked the nuclear option, um, yeah, uh, it would have had to have been a center-left, centrist, moderate justice, and that simply would not do to replace the notorious RBG on the Supreme Court. It would have to be an arch-progressive to replace the arch-progressive. The next thought that I had on the subject was um, over the weekend, my friend Megan came over to see our new baby, my son, and uh, she's she's left of center on a lot of issues. And we kind of got to chatting about it, and I was actually very surprised at her take on it. She said that uh, everybody's making this big deal about Ginsburg being this, you know, this feminist icon and this hero and this 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 trailblazer. She's like, no, she wasn't. She was a bog stock leftist. She was just vocal about her views and let her views paint her decisions in the court. And I'm like, well, that's yeah, that that is. And the thing about it is, is that that's the exact type of person that you do not want on the Supreme Court is the Supreme Court's job is to look at laws that are passed and brought up to challenge and see, do they square with the Constitution? Ginsburg was an activist judge. Her entire worldview and all of her, all of her, uh, her, her opinions and her dissenting opinions, they were not framed in the in the frame of does this square with the constitution it squares does this square with how, where i want to see this country go and that is anathema to what the supreme court justice should be so so there's that and then it's also like the the the, the hubris of it that you mentioned where she was just so certain Rio, right up there with the pundits and the news people and everybody in this country that Hillary Clinton was going to win the 2016 election and the Democrats were going to sweep the Senate and it was going to, you know, she's finally going to be able to, to bow out with grace and fanfare and be replaced with essentially a clone of herself in mentality and when the bad orange man swept into the white house uh, she's holding on for dear life trying to trying to stay in for another four years so that we can correct this wrong in american electoral history and uh and she didn't make it and oh, uh no. she came so close yeah. So, either 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 that or she died sometime last year when we were making all of the memes about it and the Trump somebody in the Trump administration found the corpse somewhere and was like, <laughs> yeah, Oh, can't can't hide it anymore. 